Spearing Fish on Indian River by Mrs. C. F. Latham. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Spearing Fish on Indian River Last evening my husband said, It's a good night for a jack light. Let us go fishing. I donned my fishing suit. We got into the rowboat and went outside of Scott's Park, as that is the best fishing grounds at Oak Lodge. We lit the pitch pine in the fire basket. I paddled the boat slowly while he stood in the bow, spear in hand, watching the bottom. Here the patches of sand showed up clear, and the water was calm. Drifting slowly along, about fifty feet from shore, my husband calls out, Steady now, which meant to hold the boat still by sticking the oar in the bottom of the river to hold the boat solid while he quickly plunged his spear into a big red bass. He held it down till he thought it was drowned, then reached over the side of the boat, down the spear, until he reached the fish. The next act was to take it with thumb and fingers in the eyes, and, lifting with the spear, land the fish in the boat. But alas, it was the old story over again. Man proposes, etc. Just as he hoisted that big fish into the boat, there was a change of base. The fish gave a mighty flop, and I heard my husband say something that did not sound like a Thanksgiving sermon. On we went a little further, when, steady again, and this time a four-pound sheephead lay in the boat. Drifting slowly along, my husband said, Great Scott! Look at the sheephead around that old snag. Can't get them all. Here goes for the biggest one. It don't pay to be too greedy, even when spearing fish. I think he tried to spear two at once, and his spear came up empty. This time it was Thanksgiving and Christmas combined, and he did not call himself a person sound in the upper story. Another snag. Mr. Fish lay motionless. Its death was swift. Weight four pounds. He threw the spear at a huge red bass, but that fish had a call to his club. Now the fun commences. Fish all around. We get excited. Flop, flop came the sheephead into the boat. Here comes a school of mullet. We get one of them. A big sea trout broke from the spear, so we did not have to clean that fish. I proposed just one more fish, but my husband said, I guess we have all we need. He took the oars and pulled for home. We had been gone one hour and a half, and had caught one mullet, weight three pounds, and six sheephead, total weight twenty-three pounds. End of Spearing Fish on Indian River by Mrs. C. F. Latham Read by Bologna Times